Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is process templates for simple drilling, or basically process templates for common geometry. So in a previous video for process templates, I showed you how you could collect a group of toolpaths and create a process template which will carry those toolpaths, their parameters, and their tool selections, and you can copy and paste them over and over again and reselect the geometry. Now, this video is to show how if you had common geometry, how could you could use that process template window. And the best way to do that is with a tapped hole or a, or a chamfered hole, countersink hole. So let's do that right now. So I've got these three operations here which basically spot, drill, and tap those four holes. I'll right click on it, go to create template, and let's just call that tapped hole example. You'll see that I gave it a name. We highlighted those three operations. The, those three operations will comprise this process template, and I've checked the box that says include tool data. So the tools and their feeds and speeds, all the parameters of those operations will be captured in this process template. When I click OK, it adds it to my process template list. If I suppress those, just so we can get them out of the way, let's see how the process template actually works when we implement it. So I'm just going to right click on the last operation, add operations from process template. There's my tapped hole example. I could check this box here to actually bring this name in so I know that the three toolpaths that are about to be added to my operations list came from this process template. Okay. So once I click OK, we get to the common data page. So here I can say they were all done in Mac 1 position 1. Or going forward, if I were to just implement this out of the blue, I would say I want to put this process template on Mac 1 position 1. I'm going to define my geometry for all the operations in this process template. In this case, the spot, drill, and tap operations, they're going to be done on these four holes. And let's say they even have a common upper level. We'll just choose that plane right there and we'll click OK. It adds those three toolpaths. Let me just do a synchronize and calculate. And our spot drill and tab toolpaths have been added. And all I did was add a process template. It automatically brought in those tools, automatically added those toolpaths to my list, and I'm good to go. So anytime I have a similar tab tool, I can just come in here and use a process template. So let's actually see how that would be done with another process template that I've created for these holes on the outside here. It's basically just spot, drill, and a chamfer. So I've already created that process template. So if I go over here, <coughs> add operations from process template. Here's my chamfer hole. So you see there's the three toolpaths that make up this process template. If I want, I can include that name as well. I'll click OK. And I'm going to do this on this side that has the two holes. So that will be my Mac 3. I'll define that geometry as those two holes right there. And again, they, they share a common upper level. So I'll just click on upper level, click OK. There's my three toolpaths. Synchronize and calculate. And I have spot, drill, and countersunk those holes. I can even do it again. If I go to add operations from process template, chamfer hole, we'll put this on the fourth side, Mac 4. Click on define, click on that face right there. In this case, it's just that single hole. Again, I'll just define the upper level as that one right there. Click OK. Synchronize and calculate. And there we go. So I've added another process template to another feature. So uh, on a part like this, I have about four of those holes. I just had to program one and then use a process template over and over again to get all four holes done. Uh, likewise, I can take this and if there's a family of parts and I tend to do the same work over and over again, I can create a process template of those operations and then apply them to the next part in the family, in the series of parts. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can submit your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or you can stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.